little brisk here at Albertsburg Field at Alumni Stadium with a 2-1 win uh, for the Hartford Hawks. They stretched their game-winning streak uh, to four games now and stay undefeated here at home. Tom Poitras, second-year head coach. And let's go right to Giovanni Sims. He was the, the focal point in this game, but 36th minute he found the back of the net, and you guys prevailed to one win. Well, I mean, he, he had a real, obviously he had the chance right before that that he went around the goalkeeper and put it wide of the goal. So he was hungry to, to redeem himself for that. And he did a good job finishing the chance he got and, and tucked it away. You know, and, and obviously he's going to start to draw a lot of attention. Yeah. You know, um, he's got seven goals in nine games. So people are going to be paying attention and, and he's going to have to deal with that. You know, it's part of college soccer and he's going to have to learn to live with uh, some tight marking. Let's go back 30 minutes prior to that. In the sixth minute, they wind up uh, getting the goal. And then 10 seconds later, your team responds. Anthony Santaga comes up with a game-tying goal. Have you seen that before? Or 10 seconds later, you, you tie the ball game? Well, you know, the thing is, is we've had three or four times where we've given up a goal that we've come back and, and at least got a chance out of it. You know, so we responded really well to their goal, which is a really positive thing for our team because they could. most times you see you either put your head down or you stop playing. But we, we went right after it, right off the kickoff. And obviously, Anthony battled the keeper and he's great in the air and he, he won the battle and, and tied the game up so once that happened we felt pretty comfortable at that point in the second half uh, definitely got a little physical as well as they had a lot of near misses towards the tail end what does it tell you about your team you we talked about it on the pregame just about how uh, they're starting to get into that whole mode of uh, not wanting to lose and they were able to kind of bend but not break in that second half uh, it's a you know it's a resilient team and that's a real positive thing we're seeing come out of the team you know we had you know three or four guys out tonight and we were able to battle and fight and some of the young guys are really having to step up and manage the game and they're doing a good job but you know we gave a few chances away that we would have liked to shut down things a little quicker but those are things we can fix you know those are things we can work on it but guys are battling and, and the, there's a mentality and a confidence growing in the team about not wanting to lose and, and we're three and oh at home so they're getting a little uh you know a little like they like they being at home they want to defend their home field so that's a good sign for the team have you we mentioned this before and obviously i just want to kind of get it uh on camera here but was there a turning point that you saw that got into this four game winning streak and hopefully down the road maybe stretch a little bit longer well you know i think a couple of those early games we had i mean at West Virginia, at Penn State, at Villanova. I think those gave us some experience to deal with certain things on the road or certain things at home. And now, you know, we can handle the games and, and we learned we were, you know, close to winning those games. It was 10 minutes left in all of those games. We were either tied or up and we didn't come out with a result. So I think we learned from our mistakes and, and the guys are doing a good job continuing to grow and mature. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. All right, so that's the fourth straight victory for the Hartford Hawks. Coach said it. Uh, they're undefeated here at home in West Hartford. You don't have to wait too much as it'll be another in-state rival as the Pioneers of Sacred Heart will come into town on Saturday night. Kickoff at 7 o'clock. Pre-game show starts at 645.